Hi everybody, big guy here, welcome to Mike's Garage. Uh, I did want to tell another little story about the um, machine shops that we had. Uh, it was a portable machine shop, uh, a couple different versions of it. The one we had was a, uh, a really nice truck that was converted into a machine shop. Uh, when you parked it, the sides in the back would go up and then the floors would fold down and then there was a tent that went over it. And it was much, it was built much like, you know, you have one of the big motorhomes today, a modern motorhome where you have a slide when you park it, then it slides and it opens up the inside. Well, that's exactly what this did. The, the lathes would fold up into the middle. And when you put the sides up and you put the floors down, then you lowered the canvases on the outside. Then you would roll the lathes out onto the outside floors. They also had supports on it too. Uh, they had a, a, a belly uh, uh, compartment under it. They used to carry rolls of steel, rolls of copper, rolls of brass, so we could make different things. Uh, they had tanks on there for welding, uh, so they could weld it. And they carried, I think it was 12 by 12 pieces of steel. And what you could do is you could weld that over uh, something. In, in Vietnam, they used to weld that onto the floors of some of the uh, three-quarter ton pickups that we had. You would weld it on the outside of some of the doors uh, to the two and a half ton trucks, just, just to help you with shrapnel and things like that. And anything that come, would come up through the floor if you ran over a landmine or something. Uh, some guys would line everything with sandbags just to help protect themselves. And they used to give you a flak jacket. I think it was, uh, it looked like a, it looked like a, um, a life a sweater vest or something like that it was it wasn't anything that was worth anything and the helmets were they wouldn't stop anything either i mean it was a little bit of a help a little bit of protection but uh, kind of useless kind of thing for the flak jacket but they used to weld those plates on different places in the vehicle uh, if some somebody got bent uh, something got bent fender got bent or something you could bend it back and you could reinforce it uh, cut a piece of steel down to a six inch by 12 inch piece, bend it where it needed to be, reinforce the bumper so it wouldn't bend again, just to keep it running, uh, make it look as nice as you could, uh, get a brush and no spray cans, get a brush and paint some olive drab on it and uh, get the stencils and put the numbers back on the bumper so everybody knew what unit you were from. And uh, so that, that's the kind of little body work stuff that we used to do with that, used to machine shop for that. Um, we could also get a rolled piece of steel and you could put it in one of the machines there and put thread on it, whichever kind of thread you wanted. You couldn't really make a bolt, but what we used to do is we used to, uh, oh, I didn't do it. The machine shop guys did it. Like I said, they were, they were the guys that knew how to use the lathes they knew how to use the welders, although we did some of the welding too, uh, but they were like the experts at it. So if we needed a bolt and we didn't have the bolt, we would go over, take a sample with us. They would measure it out and they would get, you know, a six inch piece of steel and cut the thread all the way down the bar of steel. And then they would put a nut on the end, uh, make it as long as we wanted, cut it off, put a nut on the end and weld it. So now it looked like a bolt. I mean, you had a nut welded on the end of the rod that had the right thread on it. Solve your problem. So it didn't take long to do that. Anything you needed like that, a small thing, they, they could do it. Um, if you had something that was bent, if you could take it off and take it over to them, they would heat it and put it in, uh, I, I don't, luckily the jaws of life or something, was some kind of a pressure thing where they could straighten things out for you. As long as it was small enough to get it uh, over to them, they could fix things like that. So anything that was bent, uh, you ran off the road, some of the trucks you lost control, you went off the road, you bent the front end, uh, you could take the parts off, uh, bend them back, yeah, just make it, you didn't have a front end alignment machine, you didn't have a balance machine, you just made the best of it. I mean, sometimes you were going 40, 50 miles an hour and the steering wheel would be shaking, wasn't too much you could do about it. Uh, so that, that was the machine shop and I did wander off on another story again, I'm sorry. But the machine shop was very vital. When you, when you needed something, you needed it right now, those guys were there for you. Uh, it was a really nice shop too. I mean, it was beautiful inside. It was a brand new vehicle. That was one of the few 
new vehicles that we had there. The rest of them, like I said, were Korea vintage from the Korean War and even older than that. So uh, very few uh, new vehicles that we had in Vietnam. We had some pretty nice new ones in uh, Fort Benning too, stateside. Stateside had pretty uh, the much the new, better equipment. And it was kind of disappointing, i tell you the truth. When you go to Vietnam and you go to the motor pool and you just went back 20 years. So, uh, you know, with these things, and, and I knew because uh, I, I worked with a lot of old guys who worked on all the old vehicles at a gas station while I was in high school. So I knew how to take a flathead apart. I knew how to, you know, change transmissions, change rears, change gears, replace axles. We did all that at the gas stations back in the day. And uh, so seeing the old vehicles, I knew how to fix them. So I was kind of an expert in that because of the old vehicles that were there. But anyway, this is about the machine shop. Uh, very nice. Uh, the guys were great. Could make anything you wanted. Sorry again for rambling on. Stay safe, everybody. Take care.